Alright guys, I have a lot of videos to make and do for you guys with my garage rebuild, with my RV. I know a lot of you guys are waiting for the RV videos, but I want to share my latest uh, Z06 video, which was a day at Road America. And let me just say, it is epic, it is fun. It's my second time doing a track day at Road America. The first time I did it in the 2018 R8 RWS, which is a rear wheel drive. Uh, Audi. Now I have done it with the Z06 which is basically the same specs if you will uh, except manual and uh, less safety stuff. So anyways what it costs is $310 you get four 25 minute sessions on the track which equals about hundred and sixty miles of track time. That's pretty crazy it's pretty epic. Anyways here's a video I put together and I'll be jumping in every now and then to explain what's happening. Good morning everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mark and you're watching Gas Tax Garage. Today it's bright and early, it's about 4.15 in the morning and I'm heading out to Elk Heart, Wisconsin to go drive on Road America with my 2008 Z06. So here is the baby all set up and ready to go. Let's jump into the car and head on up to Wisconsin. Guys, we are here unloaded at Road America. Tons of cars here compared to the last time. Right now, I gotta get the car ready. Uh, and what that entails is putting numbers on both sides. I gotta put a sticker on my helmet because we had to go through the driver's meeting. Um, and then, yeah, this is the setup. Ideally, I would have like an awning because <laughs> it's gonna be 95 degrees today. Well, 85. But uh, yeah, so. I'm gonna make sure I got cameras ready. I'm going to make the stickers on here and then uh, I'll check in with you guys in a bit. One little trick when you're peeling these off is you peel the back end off, not the front off. And if you peel the front off and these, this thing becomes curly. Ah, always peel the back end first. So the day starts basically at 7.30. You gotta be there for a driver's meeting. They go over what you can and can't do, how to overtake somebody, the different flags, and what happens in cases of emergencies. And that's a mandatory meeting. You just have to listen to them talk. From there, uh, you have to sticker up your car with the numbers, and that's how they signal you when you're on the track in case anything uh, goes wrong or you're doing something wrong. They got uh, electronic signs all around the track where they'll display your number so then you have to go into pit stop they'll explain what you did wrong most of the time they'll be like okay don't do that again and you go back on the track but if you do something crazy uh they're gonna tell you skip the rest of this session or you're done for the day so you definitely want to remember your number i forgot my number but i didn't get flagged so that's good so when you sign up for road america you choose if you're a novice intermediate or advanced Novice actually costs, uh, I think, uh, $30 more, $340. And that's, uh, you actually go through a school with an instructor and they walk you how to use uh, Road America. Intermediate is if you have six to 10 track days before, not necessarily at Road America, and you know what you're doing, then you just go out there in your car and you are with other cars. And advanced is guys that, you know, have done this many times and go pedal to the metal and yeah. So those are the three sessions. But from there, they give you a agenda for the day. And it just tells you what time your sessions start, your four sessions. So you have two in the morning and two in the afternoon. That's basically how it works. 
And there's no PA system saying, okay, now it's intermediate or the advanced. You just pay attention to the time and then you show up in the, the pit lane uh, five minutes before the session starts. And that's basically how it works. From there, you do your 25 minutes on the track. Then you have uh, sometimes in, uh, 30 minutes to an hour, hour and a half to relax at lunchtime. Uh, you actually have about an hour and a half. So I bought a grill and we grilled some brats there for lunch. Uh, so you can do anything. They have food there as well or there are restaurants nearby. All right guys, well, here it is. First track day in the Z06 and I am mildly terrified. Um, why is that you ask? Well, it is an older car, less safety precautions or, or computer stuff than my R8. It is a manual and it is packed today. <laughs> like at least four or five times the amount of people uh, the first time I was here. So yeah, excited. Hopefully my engine doesn't blow up because I haven't had the, the valve cam work done. Alrighty guys, first session's done. I got in uh, seven laps. It feels like a lot more, but seven laps. My uh, top speed was 137.7. Um, yeah, felt good. So if you haven't been to a track day, uh, obviously you want your engine to cool down. So you uh, pop the hood open so it can cool down. Or so you can look cool. But uh, yeah, I am going to refresh my GoPro batteries in there. Maybe I'll give you guys a different view facing forward this time instead of at this sexy beast. And then next track, we'll see how it goes. So I love listening to music, especially when I'm driving. If you look at my R8 uh, track day video, I'll put a link up here. I listen to the music full blast there and this was before my channel was monetized clearly you can't listen to music on uh, YouTube now uh, because I'll demonetize the video or take it down so I tend to talk to myself <laughs> uh, hype myself up so here is a bunch of clips of me doing that it also helps me keep in mind how I'm driving so at certain turns, I would call out what gear I was in. So going in at third, going in at second. So to help me improve what I'm doing. So here's some funny clips of me talking to myself since music's not allowed. If you've never considered a Corvette, So before our first section, the buddy I was with quickly found an app called Lap Trophy. And I'll tell you what, it is pretty epic. It tells you, whoever's using the app, it will show you their lap times, it will show you the top 10 lap times at that track of all time. And then it will also count when you pass the start stop automatically. It will tell you your fastest time, it will show you your braking. So here is a couple clips of the actual app. So there's four sessions. Obviously, the further on my sessions went, the better I got. So second and third were my fastest sessions. I think third, I actually had the fastest lap time, which is 257, fastest lap time for me. Uh, the fourth, uh, the track was pretty congested, so wasn't able to push it that much. Um, but yeah, this app, I highly recommend. Uh, I wish I knew about it. I probably didn't exist two years ago with Road America. But this is a great app and you can pay month to month or you can pay annually. Obviously, if you're not tracking a lot, just pay month to month and then cancel it. 
Uh, but yeah, I highly recommend that link down below for that app. Alrighty guys, we have had three sessions. I don't know how many miles each session is, but I recorded it last time, so I will let you know. Corvette is doing great. I tell you one thing though, this whole transmission area gets hot as hell. It is about 85 degrees today, so maybe that's a thing. I know I need to replace my uh, hood struts because right now I'm using an axe from my Jeep to hold it up. The wind keeps blowing it down. But all in all, fun car. I love the stick. Everything is going well. Again, I'm just jinxing myself. One thing I did notice is if you look at my calipers, all the little holes are full. Obviously, that's not good, but that's tomorrow's problem. Um, there's some matching Porsches. Looking good. So yeah, I got one more session. Uh, I'm just started the Jeep up to cool down my drinks in here because then I gotta load up and head home. All right, so now you see how the whole track day went. If you got this far in the video, thanks for sticking around. So just a reminder, I am giving away over $18,000 of tools in the next eight months. The first giveaway is about $3,700 of Sonic tools. So be sure you check out the link below. Basically, all you gotta do is subscribe to the channel, leave a comment on any one of my videos for the next uh, on this period of, of time, and you are automatically entered to win the $4,000 toolbox. If you wanna help support the channel and get more entries, there's also a merch link down below. For every dollar you spend on uh, merchandise, you get three entries. So thanks for the support, but here is my fastest lap with the uh, the speed and the, the map on the screen. So I'm gonna let that play. It's two minutes and 57 seconds. But guys, thanks a lot for tuning in. And until next time, I'll see you then.
Well guys, successful day at the track. It is uh, wonderful tracking this beast. Tell you, manual is the way to go if you want to track some things. Unfortunately, that's why I bought the R32, but I haven't finished it, so I bought this until I finish that. Um, but my R32 will be my track car, but this is a track car.